We're going to start demonstrating how to get the Madness AutoWorks app on an iOS device. I'm on an iPhone here. So the first step you're going to do is go to the App Store. And then you're going to go to the search function. And in the search bar, you're going to type Madness AutoWorks. And it will auto-populate so you can just choose it from the list of sources. And then you're going to find the application in the top right-hand corner. You're going to be able to click to download the application. It will ask you for your iCloud password or your Touch ID input. Once the application has been downloaded, you're going to click the Open tab, and you'll get the welcome screen for the Max Power Madness AutoWorks application. And then when it first opens up, you're going to be able to type or scan, and using the cell phone camera, the serial number on your Max Power ECM. And in this case, I'm going to demonstrate by typing in a random number because we do not have it installed. In the vehicle right now so when you put the number in that is on your max power ECM you're going to click the connect button and you'll be met with a disclaimer just uh, telling you to take notice since this is a phone application you're going to want to use it when the car is in a stationary position and making all your adjustments before you take off and drive so to get rid of that you're going to tap anywhere on the screen and now we have the actual interface um, if you notice on the top left and right you have drop down menus that you can click disconnect demo mode shop contact and then the right yep. you have the madness auto works logo center of the screen you have the rpm of the vehicle when it's on and running and just below that you have channels one and two status bar and channel three and four and that shows the active tuning that is actually being applied by the max power ecm to the car as you drive so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to engage demo mode and what that's going to show you is the various uh, different modes that we have Eco Sport and Sport Plus, as well as how you can interact with the interface itself um, to adjust the car when you drive. So if you click on the top right hand corner of the screen, and go into demo mode, and as you can see, when you are actually driving the vehicle, when the phone is paired to the ECM, you're going to have real time information of the RPM. And in this case, we are in um, the this is actually off mode, excuse me. Uh, that's characterized by the white color that you see here. And if I wanted to, at the very bottom, you can click change mode. And you're going to see you have eco, sport, sport plus, you have the off and on button. And then you have in the top center of the screen, the plus and minus to the left and right of the minute setting. So I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. Um, at the zero minute mark, you see the plus and the minus. What that allows you to do is to change the actual uh, time frame that the car is allowed to warm up on first startup before the actual ECM is able to impart any performance changes in the car. So if it's something, it's a cold morning, cold startup, car's been sitting for a while, and you want to turn up the time before the box actually makes any changes, we're going to hit the plus uh, sign. And in this case, I set it to five minutes. And that means that we're going to give the car five minutes to warm up before the box actually becomes active. And uh, conversely, if you're doing something on a hot startup or you just ready to go right out of the box, you can hit the minus, leave it at zero. And that means as soon as you start up the car, uh, you're ready to go. Um, I personally recommend on my car a couple minutes that lets the, the, uh, the viscosity of the oil get a little warmer, kind of circulate through the system and is ready to drive. So I'm gonna leave it at two minutes. Um, and then right below that, you're gonna see the actual power button. What that does is that disables the box in its entirety, so you're 100% back to stock. So if we click that button, you're going to see you're going to go back to the main screen, and that's where we have that white color, the white 
color does indicate that the box is active, as you can see, but it's not making any changes to the tuning of the car. So you'll still have the readouts, you still have your channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4, but you're not actually having any increased performance. So the car in this mode is relatively stock. And now if we click back on the change mode button, we're going to talk about the three modes that you see here, Eco, Sport, and Sport Plus. Um, Eco mode is a performance tune that was predicated on giving you nice oomph, nice horsepower, nice torque, but a big thing was in giving you better fuel economy with the car. So if you're somebody that wants that bump in power, but you also want to have some nice fuel economy gains, uh, you're going to click Eco mode. So I'm going to choose that now. And as you see, you go back to the main screen and you have the color green to indicate you are in Eco mode. And as you can see, channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 are being utilized now because the box is active and working. And you have the real-time RPM and um, you have all your information in front of you. So now we're going to go and we're going to talk about sport mode. Sport mode, which is the, characterized by the orange color, is going to give you performance uh, and torque that's the second level. It's like level 2 of the box. So if eco mode was level 1, sport mode is level 2. So we're going to choose that now. And as you can see, you go back to the main screen and you have the nice orange color that shows you your real-time RPM. Channels 1 and 2, you can see a bit more active because we have a bit more active tuning going on for more performance that's going to be unleashed with the max power ECM. And if we go to the last mode, so we're going to click change mode once again, we have Sport Plus, which is characterized by the red mode. So this is race mode. This is all out, get ready to light up the tires, burn rubber, and choose it mode. So we're going to click it now, and you're going to see, again, active tuning is full at this point. Channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4 are fully red because you have full tuning available from the Max Power ECM. And you still do have that real-time RPM at the top of the screen. And you have change mode. So we're going to go back. Now we're going to turn it off. So when I hit the power button, turn it off, and you're back down to the white color. Again, channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4, there, there's no tuning being done. So there's no active tuning. You see those bars are not filled with anything. And if we want to go and access any other features, we're going to hit the top right of the screen. We can disconnect. We can, we're in demo mode now. We can shop. We can contact Madness Auto Works. So everything you have is at your disposal. Um, if you have any questions, if you need anything else, uh, be, be sure to check out our other video demonstrating this on Android uh, operating system as well. This is Art Dominguez for Madness Auto Works. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>